Hi crochet friends, it's April and today I'm making a video to demonstrate the stitches you'll need for section one of my Alara shawl crochet pattern and uh, I'm doing a crochet along with this pattern and it starts on May 1st. So hopefully you're uh, involved in that and if you haven't heard about it then be sure you go to bananamoonstudio.com to get all the details. So I am not working in the yarn that the pattern calls for because I used up almost all of the two skeins that I had to make the shawl. But I am working in Ancient Arts Nettle Soft DK. This is their Nothing But Blue Skies colorway. So anyhow, that's what I'm working with. Let's go ahead and get started. So we start, this uh, section is gonna be the longest section. It's also the easiest section. Uh, it's going to be great for uh, listening to an audiobook while you're working on it. So we start with chain four. And then in row one, skip first two chains, does not count as a stitch, double crochet in remaining two chains. All right, so I'll be skipping this chain and this one. And I like to turn my starting chain over and crochet in these ridges on the back. So I'm going to skip the first two and crochet into these last two chains. We're starting at a corner of the shawl. That's why we have just two stitches here. All right, row two, chain two, two double crochet in first stitch, double crochet across. All right, so I will chain two. I like to turn after I chain two, but you can turn first if you prefer, either way. All right, two double crochet right here in this first stitch. double crochet across. In this case, I only have the one stitch left. So I'll double crochet there. All right, row two. Nope, I just did row two, row three. Chain two, double crochet in each stitch to last stitch. So I'm gonna do my chain two and turn and I'll double crochet here and here and since my instruction said uh, to last stitch I'll stop there where I have this one stitch left and it says to double crochet in last stitch and then turn so again I'm going to place two stitches in the same spot here Was my third row, my fourth row, chain two, two double crochet in first stitch, double crochet in each stitch to last two stitches. All right, so I'll do my chain two and then I'll turn and I'm going to do two double crochet in this first stitch. Let's see, what did that say? Double crochet in each stitch to last two stitches. So I actually just have one to do right here because now I have these last two. And then it says double crochet two stitches together. That's what that DC2 TOG means. Double crochet two stitches together over last two stitches and then turn. So I wanna make sure you see how to do this decrease stitch. You're gonna yarn over and start a double crochet stitch right here. But you'll stop right there and you won't finish it yet. 
yarn over and start another double crochet stitch here in the last stitch. And now I have two partially completed double crochet stitches plus the loop I started with. I'll yarn over and pull through all three of those and that will finish those two double crochet stitches together. So it takes two stitches and turns them into one stitch. Okay, so that's the decrease. That was row four. Row five is chain two, double crochet in each stitch to last stitch. All right. So I'm gonna work across until I have just one stitch left unworked. There's my last stitch, and then it says two double crochet in last stitch and turn. And it tells me that at the end of row five, I should have five stitches, so I'm going to stop and count. I have one, two, three, four, five, and then my chain two that doesn't count. So I'm good there. Okay, so from that point, it says repeat rows two through five for pattern and work in pattern for a total of 103 rows. So you're going to be at this for a little while while you're listening to your audiobook or maybe switching back and forth between reading and stitching. Um, but I want to point out that, it, you know, eventually as you're doing this, I'm sure you'll get to the point where you've pretty well got this pattern memorized, but every row on this side here is going to have an increase. So no matter which row you're on, if you're on this side of the shawl, you will put two stitches in the first stitch. And along this edge of the shawl, every fourth row will have a decrease. I have one here, so I'm going to work this row and then two more, and then I'll have another decrease. So I've got my increase on this side. I'm just going to double crochet across to finish this row. So as I'm uh, working on these stitches, I'm going to just let you know a few things. Uh, this shawl, this Alera shawl, is part of a crochet along. It's taking place on my website, bananamoonstudio.com. You can also always find my latest free patterns, tutorials, and reviews at bananamoonstudio.com. And uh, you can sign up for my newsletter. There are two free patterns that you'll get when you do that. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, share, and in the comments, leave me notes about what you would like to learn in uh, videos so that I can make videos that are useful to you. All right, so here's my increase on that side and then I have my decrease here and one two three rows so I'm gonna go to the end of this row so I can show you that decrease one more time but since I'm on this side right now I'll do my increase because every row is gonna have one If you're participating in the crochet along, make sure you've joined my Facebook group. It's called the Studio Bunch. That's where we'll be having our discussion about the crochet along and the book that we are reading or listening to along with this crochet along. Okay, so I have just two stitches left, so I'm ready to do my decrease again. So I'll yarn over, go into this stitch, pull through, and then I'll pause my double crochet right there. Yarn over and start another double crochet here. Now I have two partially completed double crochets. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops. 
and there's my decrease. So that is what you need to know for the first section of the Alara shawl. I hope you all have a lovely day and a fun time with this crochet project.